Hello everyone, this is Jan from Atmosphere. I'm also the head of the global partnership at the Food Co Chain Project uh, here in Philippines. I'm in the beautiful Panay, it's island in Philippines, about an hour flight from Manila. And I'm very happy to be here because today it's the grand opening uh, of the first CO2 transcritical cold storage facility here in Philippines, uh, a project that was funded by the UNITO program uh, uh, implemented by DNR, local Ministry of Environment, uh, in partnership with TESDA and Atmosphere. So I'm here standing in front of the very first CO2 transcritical cold storage facility. Here you can see behind me. It's a CO2 transcritical condensing unit uh, by Nihon Nets again. The gas cooler is from Gantner. It's a 34 kilowatt of a cooling capacity. The system was just commissioned uh, in a few days and uh, this is the first time in Philippines. It's scorching hot, it's running smoothly. There's a minus 25 degrees inside of the, of the cold room. The position, the size of the cold room is about 500 uh, pallets. So it's a fairly large installation. It's first of its kind here in Philippines. The first system itself was installed at the Coach Innovation Hub LA this year, and we now have the first project in the market. So it's a, it's a big milestone for the industry. Arthur, thank you so much for uh, taking your time. Can you please tell us a little bit uh, about the company, about Glacier Mega Fridge? Glacier is a cold chain logistics company. Uh, right now we have uh, 11 facilities connecting uh, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. What made you choose and to you know, submit this application for the, for the CO2 transcritical, to be the first in the country? You know, uh, 30 years ago, we were a bunch of young engineers working with Japanese technologies, and our vision is to use efficiency and sustainability in order to make business. We intend to uh, increase our capacity by 15% up to 2021 in order to keep our distance with our, with our competitors. Uh, and I'm always have been a firm believer of uh, differentiation. As of now, it's still a uh, seller's market, but uh, but but other uh, small competitors are of course catching up. But it's not only a matter of catching up. You know, you must also have, as I mentioned, it should be efficient, it should be sustainable, it should be scalable, and it should be environmentally be friendly. You know in order to sustain the business existence and to also manage business continuity. Absolutely. Congratulations again, Thank Archie. you very much. Thank you for yeah, your yeah. time. The final take, here I am in front of the unit. Super green unit by Nihonets again. First CO2 condensing unit installation in the cold storage in Philippines, Panay Island. About an hour ago, here is the gas cooler. Minus 22 degrees inside, everything running smoothly. So in a few months time, we will be able to present the results, uh, the energy efficiency, uh, energy saving of the system in comparison with 404. That has been a, the traditional system used in this type of installation here in Philippines in the places that you cannot use ammonia. So the results will be presented at the Atmosphere Asia Pacific Summit in February in Tokyo. Stay tuned.